Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Hot Girl Talks Podcast. I'm Hallie. I'm <laughs> Finley. Oh <laughs> God. Okay. Finley is here in the studio. I'm Carly. And I'm Jazz. And Finley is here in the studio and we look like shit today, but we're just owning it. But yeah. the reason we play shit is because we all Honestly, yeah, okay, we don't, the story. We don't look like shit. No. We're just in, we're just not, no, I look like shit. we're not We didn't get up. ready. But the yeah. reason that why, I want to tell this story. Yesterday, Holly's like, I have to go to Equinox and cancel my membership. So we're like, oh, we'll come with you. Hallie walks in, she's like, oh, this isn't included in your membership. Like, you can't come to this location, which is the closest location to her. But Can I pause and also give backstory that I live, like, literally a two-minute walk from this Equinox, and I've been, I go in there all the time for Juice Press, and I've been thinking about joining for a very long time. Okay. I've, I've lived in my apartment for six months. I've been thinking about it for six months. Okay, yes. And so she's like, I'm going to cancel. They're like, oh, this isn't included in your membership. She just doesn't cancel. She upgrades. But, okay, just let me the add. The reason that you were upgrading was because I was highly considering joining well, Equinox. Well, yeah, I, basically the Equinox, that I, I've been going to Equinox for like two years and like the Equinox that I go to, which I thought I had like the all-inclusive, like whatever, I guess I didn't and I needed to pay like more money and I couldn't go to the Equinox near me. So that's why, but We go on a yeah. tour and I'm like, Carly get, Carly, I thought Carly for sure was not getting this membership. No, yeah. Like, in my mind, like Carly really? was like, oh, maybe next month, like. I thought no, you were I, faking it. I, I thought, thought you were being like no, fake I thought nice. you were making a joke. Like, no, yeah. I, 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 but the reason being, like, I've literally been considering it for six months. Yeah. Like, no joke. And I Everyone's thought, been telling me to join. So you guys didn't hear that from me constantly. So you didn't yeah. realize. But, like, it was a matter of time. Like, I was waiting till the right time and I was going to join. I thought you would do it. I just thought you would be like, okay, let's do it, like, in a few weeks. I didn't think you'd be like, let's do it today. Well, I didn't know exactly that I would join on that day. But then once we were there and she was upgrading, I was like, well, if she's going to upgrade and I just took a tour... Why would I wait? Like, why wait? Exactly. Yeah. And then, so then I was like, well, I'm going to have the worst FOMO ever. And like, <laughs> I refuse to have FOMO. So I was like, fuck it, we both. Where do I sign? Which I, I'm just saying, you didn't have to do that. I oh, know, yeah. but like, imagine like the two girls of this podcast going to work out and I just, I'm stuck at home I doing get, nothing. Yeah. I'm just like, like angry signing she's, this shit. She's, she's like on the iPad. She's, she's like pissed. She's like, fuck this shit. <laughs> like she's signing for like literally $500 at like, oh churches. my God. Literally. And, like, and we're, we're like, like, Pilates this morning for our first class ever at Equinox. And yeah. it was amazing. But Jazz is sitting there like, I hate working out. <laughs> no, Jazz literally looks, she goes, I hate working out. I'm like, <laughs> you just literally committed yourself to thousands of dollars literally a year. Literally a year. Like, yeah. It's like, but I'm I'm so excited. I feel like so, I mean I'm still gonna go to my trainer once a week for everyone that knows about my trainer. Um, but I have been paying for like Soul Cycle like crazy. I've been playing paying for Rumble. I've been paying for all kinds of different classes. And it's like at this that's why I was thinking about it for so long. So like at this point I might as well just join yeah. Equinox and have all the classes together. And I'm so I feel so excited and I feel re motivated. No, it's the best. I just want to say because I think people are like Equinox. I, I always get comments like Equinox is so expensive because it is. It's like yeah, I think it's two seventy five a month in New York City for the regular, and then and we, the, we have to pay the three thirty. Right? Yeah, we have to pay the three thirty because we live in the West Village, and that's like and that's how, the how best much one or yeah. whatever. It's fucking annoying because they have a pool and stuff there. But yeah. regardless, if you like a, a, any workout class in New York City is 40, easily 50 bucks. 40, 40 bucks, a literally at least like forty bucks. bucks. So if you want to work out multiple times a week, Equinox is so much cheaper, and they have amazing classes. Their the amenities, they, yeah, they own Soul Cycle. All of their cycle classes are literally Soul Cycle. Yeah, classes. no, I know. Like, it really is worth it. I know it's a little bit expensive. I'm, we're not trying to sit here and act like... No, we Ugh. acknowledge it's expensive. Like, it's expensive. Well, but also, it's worth it. Yeah, I'm rationalizing it yeah. because... And it was... I thought about it for a very long time. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm stupid because yeah. I'm just paying for all these stupid classes. And it's like, I do... I, I don't work out as many times during the week because of the fact that I don't ex- belong to a gym. Yeah. So it's like... I belong to a gym now. And this is, that is the closest one to my apartment. Like, uh, literally. I was seriously, I've been going to Equinox for two years and I didn't, I haven't gone in four months and I wasted a bunch of money this summer. We're not going to talk about that. But I, I would go like six times a week. Like, and it was like, if you did the math, I was seriously paying like $6 every time I went also, into the Also, I never thought I would be an Equo- Equinox member, by yeah. the way. I, uh, I yeah. always. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> no, I don't but exercise. I'm just saying like, no, but I'm, I love to work out. I love to move. But it's the gym itself. It's the, uh, like, I have never been, like, a fancy gym girly. Mm-hmm. Like, my parents have a gym at home, so I just use my gym in my basement. Yeah. And call it, like, even, like, when I moved to the city, I had a gym in my old apartment building. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know. I never was into, like, the fancy gym. And I was like, oh, my God, it's so overpriced and crazy. Yeah. So no. I never thought, I never could rationalize it. I was like, this will never be me. And then here I am. I'm just so excited for the aerobics classes in the pool. The water like, aerobics. I will be there with old people like, whoop. 
I told her I would go because like, like I'm gonna get my I ordered a three pack swim cap on Amazon, so we all have one. So excited. That's so ugly. I'm like so excited. But guys, I'm gonna look so weird. Everyone th- Everyone looks bad. I've had I've never had a negative experience at Equinox. Like even if the, like the guys that are working out there, I feel like nobody gives a fuck. It's just like a chill vibe. And you can go to classes at Equinox. You can go do. They have every workout machine you, machine you could ever imagine. Yeah. Like they have every class you could ever. We're think giving of. them so much clout right now. I'm no. excited to take a shower. I know. Wait, can we spill the tea on Equinox? Mm. <laughs> Let's, let's just get into like, okay, like actual yeah. stuff. I was just gonna say, Wait, my why ne- can't you? I just want to like. I think we've talked about Equinox for like. Okay, what, well, I was 10 gonna minutes. give them some negative energy now because they we give them too much positive. <laughs> we give them. I mean, I haven't really whole- had my experience yet. Like, yeah. so far so good. But like, I'll I'll report back once yeah. I'm like a couple months in and I really have gotten the gist yeah. of like what it's like to be to be working out there. I was telling them this. I'm just letting you know because I know when I made a video about this, everyone, this is my last thing I'll say about Equinox. Yeah, everyone agreed with me in the comments. And I think Victoria Paris even made a video one time about this. So this is why, but to, to cut you off, sorry, this is why I, they asked, they told me, you think, congrats for joining, you get a free fitness assessment. And I was like, oh, this is great. I've been working with a trainer for the last year. I'm really curious to see like my endurance level and my weightlifting level and like, how I would perform. Yeah. But I didn't, then you all, told me. All they do is basically like, I, I joined because they suck you in because they make you think it's that. And then I like went, wait, this was again like two years ago, maybe they've updated like whatever since then. But basically the woman just like took like a couple measurements of my steps. It was not a workout at all. And then she took me into this room, put me on this machine and gave me my BMI. And then she started pinching at my stomach and was like, yeah, you have a lot of bulk fat on your stomach. Like we need to shed that down. I'll give you this six week plan. You're going to pay me $3,000, like whatever over the next six weeks. And like, we'll get that gone in no time. You just have to like eat all this and blah, blah, blah. She was like giving me a whole diet. Like, and I was like, you think I didn't ask for that. I didn't ask you to tell me I'm like, like, like comment on my body. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So that was nice. And Victoria Paris said that I think maybe I'm wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure she said she used to be a trainer at Equinox and that they do that literally just to, they I make you I feel like, yeah, she's like, they make you feel like shit about yourself. So you'll sign up for the personal training because they want you to pay them money because well, they, I'm going to be like, I have a personal trainer yeah, already. Yeah. Also, that's just very, you would think that such a public company, I know, um, with so many like women would want to be more woke about about something like that. Like I get that it's fitness, but at the same time, there's a fine line between fitness and like giving like criticism versus just like being toxic. And that just is feeling on the side of like, you are being toxic. Yeah, yeah. Like I understand it's a gym, like at the end of the day. Yeah, that's why you go there is to like lose weight or like whatever. And they're allowed to talk about that. But like, I don't know, I'm like pinching at a fucking 19 year old stomach and being like, mm, yeah, like, it's giving, that does we, not, it's giving we fit energy. Literally, it's, 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 giving, it's, right it's like, you step on, it's like, oh, you're fat, you're breaking it. But this I'm is like, why I'm very- I'm in fifth grade. Literally, <laughs> literally. That sparked my eating disorder. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> what, was right like, you the, what right did the Wii Fit app to tell you shit? Like, it doesn't I, know. They're like, you're like leaning on it, trying to get your balance. It's like, yeah. your BMI is way too high. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're a fat lard. <laughs> oh my so mean. God. <laughs> I cried so much. And one day to say and, obese. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, and I was, I kid you not, I was not Wii Fit daily, like three times a day. I was, like, I was like, skinny, I need to be skinny. It was so toxic. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was That's so fucked up. Should we get into Climax and Blue Balls? Yeah. yeah. My climax honestly was like them joining. Wait, like, that was my climax. Okay, I know. That's probably gonna be every like we, it's been two days since we recorded our last one. It's my climax. Um oh, okay. Oh, all right. All right. Apparently she doesn't love us. Um <laughs> yeah. I, no, mine was probably you guys joining because like I like I said, I've been going there and like I have not gone since June. I have paid the however three hundred something dollars. Now you a have month. me because you know and, I like, won't miss. A no, week. I know, and like I haven't felt motivated to go, so I just haven't gone. Even, and like I don't know, so I'm glad I'm back on like my workout grind. I'm excited for that. That was my that was my climax. My blue balls is the fact that um, earlier today we were, we, were, we had a busy day, and I came back to my apartment to grab Finley. And when I went into her crate, she had shit all over herself. And it was fucking disgusting. She smelled so bad. I just want to make this clear. Like, I had taken her out an hour before. And she had shit when I took her out. She peed everything, like, the whole nine yards. She's a puppy. So I thought, oh, she's okay. But she only usually shits twice a day. Once in the morning, once at night. I'm telling you. It's like a routine every single day. That's how Frank is. And then I'm like, why Mm. why one hour after I took you out, you like, she literally fully just shit. She's going to, like, do that all over herself. It was disgusting. Yeah. Luckily, I had just gotten all these, like, puppy wipes and washes and stuff. So I, like, wiped Not her only down, but... that, but we were in an Uber. And the Uber driver had dog, dog wipes. wipes. Literal dog wipes. Slay. And so I was crazy. like, I gave him five stars. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That was, was so nice. He was, honestly, that was clutch. Yeah. So thank you to him. 
my climax was joining Equinox. Um, I'm like hype, as I said before, when we talked about it for 10 hours. Um, and my blue balls was like, I couldn't fall asleep last night. And this was so toxic and I never do this, but I literally was so amped up from caffeine that I had to make myself a drink. Yeah. And I didn't have wine in my apartment, so I literally had to make myself a drink with vodka. She's just fucking taking shots <laughs> of vodka to fall asleep. <laughs> And it, but I woke up feeling sick because I hate that feeling of yeah. drinking. And I was like saving, my, always saving myself for the weekend. Like I don't drink during the week. Um, yeah. And it was just like, it was just not fun. And then I woke up feeling, you know, like nauseous. No, and yeah. Whatever. So it kind of ruined my momentum this yeah. week. But I get that. It, I couldn't sleep. And, I, and then I woke up at 5 a.m. Yeah. So um, habits of the best of us. But yeah. Wait, can I change my um, climax really quickly to the fact that it's Friday and we're going out tonight? Oh, That's my climax. I've been one. waiting for that all Thank, fucking this week. This has been the longest week of my entire longest life. Longest week. Like, I, this week has flown by for me. I've been busy. Oh, I hated yeah. this week. Yeah. What have you done? I hung out with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I see no, you. I hung out with you guys went on two dates. <laughs> Oh, I, went yeah. to, I went to an event, two events. Yeah, you went. I yeah, went to like. I, fact, yeah. I literally stopped. We stopped at an event for like a second. Oh, no, yeah. She went and to I was, the. I really I didn't want to go. I know, yeah, you went to the other event. I've had something to do every night this week. Yeah, you have. Yeah, I, ha- I think that's why it was slow for me. And yeah, just because I was not posting TikToks, I was not doing anything. Yeah. And I just feel like shit about myself. But you know, it happens to the best of us. Okay, I was yeah. in a funk this week. Next week will be better. Yeah. But I just had a great week. I've been feeling good. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm jealous. I've been like, busy. Uh, I've been hanging out with you guys. That's great. Uh, she, she went on a date. Actually, two. I went on two, yeah. I went on the date that I talked about in the last episode. That I was going. I think I went on it that day. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And then I went on another date with him yesterday. Wait, yeah. you know what else is one of my climaxes? What? The brand deal that we just shot for you before this. <laughs> that was fun. Because we just got to eat. I was so happy. I was like... I, oh, and I discovered a che- guys. I discovered a cheese that I like. I'm like I literally hate on cheese. Like my whole life, I've hated on like most cheeses. I only like melted mozzarella. And today, I discovered that I like um, pepper jack, pepper jack, jack cheese jack. on crackers. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it has to have the flavorful cracker under it. Though, no, I agree. Too. I completely. Agree. I liked it though. Look at me yeah. on a charcuterie she's, board. She's expanding her palate. No, for sure. Anyways, back to my climax. <laughs> Talking about. Sorry, it's okay. I'm glad you like cheese. I mean, I'm a. Big cheese stick. <laughs> so that's important to me. I feel like you're really minimizing the experience. <laughs> no, I'm. St- I just. I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> she's it's like, fucking cheese. She's like, like, I'm glad you like cheese. No, <laughs> no, I am because like now you can eat more of it. Like when yeah. we're, we're together. Probably like, won't, but yeah. Okay. Um, but I went to a Rangers game last night with this guy, and I'm a big Rangers fan. Mm-hmm. Don't understand anything, but I have a great time. Okay. And the game went into overtime, and they lost. That that was my blue balls. Was them losing. Oh, okay. Yeah. You really cared that much? Yeah. <laughs> but, like, it's like the energy shift is different. Yeah. You know? Like, right. Like, you just, like, who, who felt the vibes in the air. Okay. Who wants to lose? And, like, everyone's right. like, oh. Yeah. You know? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah. And like, yeah. I'm like, go. Can you do go. a Can you do a reenactment hey, of. Hey, 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 hey. That's what they do. Wow. Well, yeah. Can you do a reenactment of you sitting next to your date last night and, like, how you were reacting? Like, let's say, like, I'm going to pretend I just scored a goal now. What are you going to do? Ready? Okay. And they just scored a goal. <laughs> <laughs> Carly scoring the goal is the most unbelievable part of all of it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I stood up for every single goal and I was like, they, they, they say, go. They go, you were doing that. Yeah, I was doing the whole thing at one she point. Said, go. And I told go. him too, I go, I'm a really big t shirt catcher. It's kind of my thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get really excited. Not like, the they're warning. It was like, and that was like before we even started drinking. Like, that was when we were like sitting down. Like, okay. when we first walked in. Oh I was like, it's like kind of a big deal for me. Just like, just know, like, when they come around, I will be handing you what's ever in my hand. I'll be standing up and participating. He's like, I'm not going to do that, but I'm here for you doing that. I was okay. like, okay, cool. So the t shirt cannons came around. I ch- chucked my stuff at them. I gave my phone. I was like, record. <laughs> I was like, record me. You told this man to record you. He goes, okay. Did oh, he do he, it? He, he, yeah, he, do you I, have the video? I have video, yeah. Why didn't you show us? <laughs> I forgot We're, about it. We need to put it like over I this. I forgot about it until just now, but he fully records me. And like the t-shirt cannon like goes around because they have the whole like cannons. I have like a bunch of t-shirts in them that just like whip around this the thing. Mm-hmm. And the lady behind me caught it. And he's like, that was really Did close. you send wow. us a video that he recorded? No. I, I Why phone. do I feel like I saw something no. of you that was recorded of you? And I oh, was like. Oh, Darren posted it when I was with her at the game last week. 
I'm, um, I go, I'm a t-shirt girl. Like, yeah. when there's t-shirts, like, I have we know. All, all my sleep we shirts know. are t-shirts I caught at games. Were you happy when they gave the t-shirt at the opening game or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think I threw mine away. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't throw it away, I'm kidding. Did you like your Equinox t-shirt? Yeah, yeah I, was, I haven't worn it yet, but I'm, I'm excited about it. Okay, um, I'm gonna wear mine. Oh, also my, my other climax was this girl at the game like recognized me and she like, but he wasn't with me. He was like getting drinks and I was getting popcorn. And she's like, hey, like I didn't want to bother you. Like, are you on a date? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, oh, well, do you want me to like recognize you again in front of him? Like. <laughs> Like, she I was like, what a fun. real one. And yeah. I was like, and I was two mirrors and I was like, yeah. <laughs> no, but he like walks over, like I'm talking to this girl and her boyfriend. So like if uh-huh. you're listening to this, like shout out to you. Like that was really fun for me. Yeah. Um uh-huh. no, that's funny. And he was like, like, is that girl recognizing? Yeah. That happened to me when I was at the <laughs> basketball game on a date, like multiple people, because I was I was courtside, so like everyone that was walking by and right slight in front flex, of us. Slight flex. She was courtside. I didn't. There weren't my tickets, <laughs> but I didn't do anything. Either way, it's a flex. Okay, I'll take I, it. I'm, it was a compliment. I'll flex it. It wasn't a dig. No, I don't know. Okay, I'll flex it. Um, I was courtside, <laughs> and and like all these girls were like walking by constantly, and the guy was like, "Oh my god, like are all these people recognizing you?" And I was oh like, <laughs> "Hiding." But like, it's I like I like saying hi to people. Like I love it. Like I love no, same. But it, but when I'm on a date, I don't want to make them uncomfortable. Yeah. I don't want to make my date uncomfortable. Oh, I don't give a fuck. I was literally blacked out. (laughs) The fact that I was blacked out on a date is already an issue in itself. But like all these girls were like coming up because we were sitting outside the restaurant and I'm like, oh my God, like take photos of us. Like, "Ah." and he's like taking photos of us. Like literally like, I'm like, "Uh, bitch, these are my rider dies. You're I'm like, yeah, no, I agree. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't, I would want someone to come up to me. This is a PSA. If I'm on a date. And you're there and you see me still come up to me and say hi. Like, obviously, I don't want you to, like, hide and, like, not come up to me. Yeah. But there's I think certain guys can really hang with it and certain guys can't. And you know what? That's why I wanted if her the to guy, say it. If the guy can't hang with it, then they're out anyways. That's yeah. so. what I wanted to say. I was, like, I was like, curious. It's like, are you, like, because, like, yeah. other people have been, like, fucking weirdos. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Um, also... I just feel like people, I already can see us getting clowned for people being like, oh, they think they're Kim Kardashian, like, blah, 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 blah. Well, like, literally, I, yeah, it's like not I'm that sorry, deep. No, I, I agree. I'm, I'm just saying yeah. it's like not that deep. Like, no, we don't mean sure. that in like a, yeah. I'm not sorry. I'm not saying I'm sorry. I'm just saying that it's not that deep. Like, I feel like it's like. But I see, that's why the thing with me is like, I could address every fucking word that I say, but I'm not gonna. No, because yeah, I'm not it's, saying we should. It's like you're letting everyone else win when you just like. Feel like you just tiptoe around, just like. Oh, no, I'm not tiptoeing. I'm just saying. Like, no, I know. I'm, but I'm just reassuring you that like, you're good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I was climbing some blue balls. Okay. Um. I have some words for Slayer Nay. Okay. Love for that. Me, I mean, some words of the week and Slayer Nay. Have we have we done the word marinate yet? Can we talk about that, please? Because I started it because I've been using the word marinate for my I dad. Had no she idea. She was literally in Costco. Goes write that shit down, and I go. Carly already had that on the list. She's like, "What?" It's like Carly no, wanted to talk about we're it. We're walking around Costco, and I'm like, we're like thinking about buying things. I'm like, "Ooh, let's marinate marinate on it and come back to it." Like there's this vacuum with these like all this like cool stuff. At one point, it was a scooter. <laughs> it was a scooter. <laughs> but I was like, I was, "Let it marinate." My grandpa, my grandpa says it all the time, so I got back from my Arizona, dad says and it. I was like, I "Yeah, no idea." That's my dad says it, and I I literally since I was younger I'm always like let it marinate. And everyone like appreciates it every time. No, I it's, say, a, it's, a, it's good, a great word. It's if a great word to be like. Let's think it, about like, it. This yeah. is your sign. Yeah. I, I don't even say let's think about it. I literally say let's let's let it marinate for yeah. a minute. Um, are these slayer nays or words of the week? Sorry guys, I don't do slayer nays or words. Let's of the do week slayer. First. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Chick fil A. Nay, because they're homophobic. N- nay, like I just don't. It's not for me. I don't really like fast food. The slay for me minus the homophobia. But I <laughs> like, feel like if the gays are okay with it, my cousin yeah. and they still eat it. My cousin's like, part of the LGBTQ plus community and loves chicken. Yeah, away. I don't think anyone gives a fuck. Like people do give a fuck, no, but, but nobody still, gives a fuck. Yeah, it's bad. But I'm just saying. I yeah. saw, a but I feel talk, like though. they boycott it. Like they love it, but they know that they can't have it. Kind of thing. I don't thing. really or think so. No, they, I think I've seen so many TikToks. No, I'm saying my cousin. Like, oh, I'm saying okay. my cousin. Oh, okay. okay. Have you seen it? There's like a TikTok of a girl who's like, I feel like it's important to balance out like the things that you do. And she has, she like shows her bank statements and it's her buying Chick-fil-A and then donating the same amount to Planned Parenthood. Every oh, single time she gets okay. it, she does the same thing. Love okay. that. Like, That's, That's a cute. good idea. Yeah. I do love that. Or like yeah. to the Trevor Project or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just, like, she, but it's like the exact amount to the cent. Like, that's what I she love that. Time. I was, like, That's a good. That's but a it's good still thing. like, well, okay, here's the thing. 
if I was like a Chick-fil-A lover, would I just look the other way? Potentially, but I just don't care <laughs> yeah, about Chick-fil-A yeah. at all. I would eat the chicken nuggets if like I have to, you know what I'm saying? But it's like never somewhere I'm like, ooh, I need to go to Chick-fil-A right okay. now. But I do, I do get guilty about like spending my money. Like when Victoria's Secret made like um like transphobic and like there was like a whole mm. scandal like years ago with Victoria's Secret I didn't wear their clothes or buy anything from there for like two years until yeah. they completely like cleared it so I do I those beliefs like stick with me like I do tend to do stuff like that because I'm like I don't want to give my money to someone who's yeah, like yeah, that but that. um but I respect either way like I understand either way okay fake fireplaces that's such an A I think it's so fucking tacky um well, I feel like nice houses, like nice modern houses can have those fake fireplaces. I mean, my family has a fake fireplace. I just hate it. I think it's ugly because I'm like, it's just not well, giving the same. We have a, fi- we have a, is my fireplace fake if it's a real fire? Wait, but it's- wait, wait, wait. Are we talking about a fake fireplace as in just a, like a, a cute fireplace that's built into your home? It just doesn't have a chimney where it's like really works. Are you saying like no, those like fucking the modern heater, ones. like, like the, the, the ones that are is, in a glass? You're asking me this question like I wrote it. Like okay. this was sent in. All right, well, <laughs> you know what? Talking about I have it? no idea what they but meant. that's a fireplace. That's a uh, fireplace. No, you know those like heaters that are like literally they look like a fake fire. I have one. That's that's ugly in my opinion. But it's like it's a heater and it keeps me warm during the winter. Okay, but, but I, it's I like it. It looks, yeah, wait, no, that's it looks not like it. a flame. Like it literally looks like a flame fire. That's what I was it's thinking. It's like this of. big. I have. I, it yeah. Okay, but apartment. there's ones in like really modern, sick houses that are, go all the way. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah, they go but all that's the way not down. a fake fire. It's a real fire, Carly. No, real yeah. fire comes out of it. It's, it's like gas. gas. That's a fireplace. Yeah, we're Should talking about a literal fake gas fire. Wait. This is getting boring. We need to move on. <laughs> okay. Well, now I'm curious. Um, so you made me do it. Side parts. Um, I think it's a nay, but Ooh, some people can. Horrible. I think there's some people that can pull it off. Um, and I'm sure, honestly, like fashion's a cycle. I know for a fact within the next three to five years, It'll be side parts will be back. But I. They even have started to. They have a little make bit. Make their way a little bit. Um, it's on the very outs, though, I feel like. But it's coming back a tiny bit. But I think, like, they will come back at some point. I hope I don't switch back to it, but I feel like I probably will. It's yeah. still a nay for me. Like. Yeah. Okay. Um, vaping. Nay. Huge nay. Huge nay. None of us are vapors. Vaping? Yeah. Oh, I think it's cute to hold. Like, I think the aesthetic of holding Callie like, a buys tool. vapes. To, to literally hold, hold, to hold for the aesthetic. You know, just for the aesthetic. Like, I, I swear to God, that's not some, like, bullshit, like, whatever. No, I do true. not smoke, like, or anything because I have asthma. I don't like it. I don't want to be addicted to a- it. Asthma girlies, asthma. rise. Oh, um, I'm not an asthma girly, really? but I don't like to smoke. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't, I just like to hold it. I think it's so bitchy when you're holding it like behind your phone like this, at, like you're drinking. And yeah, you're like, you love that shit. I, just, I love it. Oh my goodness. I don't get it. And okay. I think vaping's so fucking stupid. So if you it, vape, vape, vape please stop. Um, pickles. Oh my God. Major slay. Major fucking slay. I love pickles. Bury me in a jar of pickles. And like a spicy pickle. Oh, like, oh my God. A garlic. Have you ever had the garlic pickles from the Lower East Side? No. Oh, we're going on okay, a trip. I'm down. You're going to die. The Jewish, the Jewish garlic. Oh, I need. The little one. No, I've never Guys, had garlic. I, I knew you liked pickles because you got them at Trader Joe's one time. I had mm. no idea like you fucked with pickles. How would you not know that? Think I know you fuck with olives. Think, yes, yeah, so it's the same. Yeah, it's the same vibe. I like olives. I don't really fuck with pickles. How do you, I, I don't think you've had a good pickle. I have. No, yeah, you have not had a good pickle. I guys, I'm not <laughs> even kidding. After this, pickle. can we please just go? We're kind of close. I will go. Yeah, please. Wait. Also, can we just say? <laughs> I don't know why this is just. I'm thinking what? about this. Is it about me? Like Carly and I will make like, like stupid like middle school boy jokes like. 24-7 yeah. and Jazz yeah. never really pretty. She's like, you guys are annoying as fuck. <laughs> Yesterday, we're shipping something at the post office. Oh my God. And Jazz has to read the address and she's holding up the thing and she's reading it and she goes, um, it's 6 9 <laughs> And she just literally... She literally starts hysterical crying, no, like insert, tears. Insert picture here. No, like, literally. I don't know why. She's crying so now. You guys just can't start a picture. I know. Of 69. Her, literally, no, I'm sorry if your address goes, is like 69 whatever way. Like She she literally was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I can't get the words. I had to grab the phone from her and be like, 69. Would I, and then I couldn't get it out because yeah. I was laughing at her laughing so hard. I was like, what? <laughs> and now she's doing it again. 69 is so funny. But the reason it's funny to me is because. I'm why? Sorry. <laughs> Literally why? Because you guys all would make those jokes. So I was going to make a joke to you guys, but I couldn't get the joke out. Okay. Wait, you know what else I was thinking about that's funny? I was just thinking about this when we were on the cruise. Oh, God. Oh God. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. I'm crying. I don't know. You do not know what I'm going to oh, say. Oh, I don't. When we were on the cruise, like, we. <laughs> 
<laughs> we went to the spa. <laughs> and Carly's <laughs> I'm gonna be my pants. Carly's like, like we went to the spa and they gave us ropes. <laughs> and Carly's like, okay. We all got completely naked. <laughs> I'm tears. Like down to like, like, no, like vagina out. No, we, we had vagina. Swim suits on, so we had no underwear. <laughs> no, so we were like, oh, we, yeah, we, no, we were, no, that's what I'm we saying. We were butt ass naked. We, were butt- <laughs> we had swimsuits on, so we literally got naked. Because here's my thing. Usually, <laughs> I'm so crying. Usually, when I'm like getting a massage, I yeah. just like get naked. No, I get that, but like we got fully naked and then we go in this like steam room and we're like, I didn't I realize what the vibes were. I don't think we're supposed to be naked because everyone else is <laughs> like, wearing the kids. We walk in our rooms and then suddenly we realize what happens when we take off our rooms. <laughs> we just, like, walk of shame back to the area and like put our clothes back on. We were like, you fucking pick as weirdos. <laughs> like it was so. <laughs> I was stripped down in the locker room like what made know. you think of that I was thinking about that earlier and I was like that was really funny like we never talked about it again but that was really funny that was so funny oh that's funny oh my god um, you don't like Taylor Swift do you Taylor Swift should we talk about it <clears throat> I, did you listen to her letter yeah. that came out I didn't nights, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not I just want to say before I get fucking canceled um <laughs> I will get canceled for that um, I don't dislike Taylor Swift. I just am not like a, a Swifty. Yeah. Like I'm not like I'm not a Swifty. I'm not a Swifty. Her. But like if she like uh, her, her music, I, I like her vibe. Her. Like I like her. Well, that's I'm literally the same as you. We're on the same page. I'm not a Swifty. Like I'm, I like okay. her music. I like her and I like her music. But to be honest, I was never really even like a fan. Like I liked her songs occasionally, mostly the hits until Folklore. And then when Folklore came out, I was like, oh, she's really not a country singer. She's doing something totally different. And I love folk kind of music. Like I love like singer, songwriter, that kind of vibe. So that's when I was like, oh, I actually love her music. I think it's amazing. And I loved that album. Okay. So I was very excited for this one. I don't even know her I, I do like it so far. I need to listen a couple I'm times. Not, I think there's levels to being a Swifty. Like I'm not like an Easter egg finder level Swifty. But I'm like, what is that? There are levels. They literally try to like look for hints in like to figure everything. out when she's dropping things. Oh. What, like, what, what things songs mean? Yeah, that's like, what I think of when I think of a Swifty. Like those. My like, best friend. I think there's like levels to being a Swifty. Like, okay. I'm not that level of a Swifty, but I'm like, I could probably sing any song you put on. Okay, that's Erica. No, yeah, you're Type the shit. same level as Erica. Probably. I like her like early music, like the Romeo and Juliet one or whatever. Is okay. that what it's Love story. Oh, it's love yeah. story. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's older. Yeah, for sure. But that's, yeah, she, I, I love every song. She, she doesn't have a Same. bad song, in my opinion. Okay. I'm not a big fan of me, but I'll still sing it. Okay. That's how I am um, with Sam Smith. I'm like, they don't have a bad song. Yeah, like, Period. all my favorite artists don't have bad music. Like, not upset. That's how you know I don't you have a favorite song. artist. Like, I, I do not have a person that I'm like, that's my favorite artist. Like, Sam Smith liked my comment this morning. Oh, wow. Like, that's so nice. Frank Ocean will never know I exist. Yeah. That's not true. You never know. I mean, he's kind of under the radar as fuck. Yeah. So that sucks. <laughs> um, anyways, um, moving in with your significant other. I, I think some I think a lot of people do it way too early and I feel like but also at the same time kind of like if it's working out kind of who gives a fuck because it's like it's a fucking lease move out if it right I think it you break up on where you live and that's too. the thing like, it's a great test like, yeah if you're like in an expensive place like I would probably do it sooner than like no I agree because it's like yeah if, and if you know what if you break up whatever you break up and you move out and you figure it out like, no I, I, I know, know a couple that that's just how, recently moved up what the someone cheated on someone else and <clears throat> they moved out and yeah. they were like it seemed like they were getting married. Like, yeah. Crazy. I know. But it happened. I, and think then, you, I think you need to live with a significant other before you decide to like marry them. Like yeah, for sure. I agree. A thousand percent. 100%. I don't know how, I'm like, how do people do it before? Like they like don't live with each other. Cause I feel like that's the real test. If you could like stay it like, is. in love with them, if you live with them. And no. just like their habits and <clears throat> making sure that everything is synced and that like mm-hmm. you don't butt heads when you're like in the same environment. Let yeah. us know in the comments if you think you should live with someone before you get married to them. Yeah. We're all saying yes, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think you totally should. Yeah. Um, winter, slay or nay? Nay. Fall, slay. I think winter's, well, n- technically not. Like, no, I don't like winter. I like the end of fall where it's like Christmas. Yeah. Like, I love the Christmas. I love December. December to New Year's is my like favorite holiday, even though like I'm not even like religious anything like that it's just like well, the I think vibe that's a lot of people it's like just that. like a good vibe like yeah. I love it and so that's a sleigh for me but then like January to March is a fucking day it's long it just and it's long days yeah. and 
Oh, short yeah. days. But so yeah. overall, I would say like the chunk of winter is in May. But I agree with you. Like I like the beginning of it where it's like New yeah. Year's and Christmas. Yeah. Well, that's, and- that's not even really, winter is only, it starts on the 21st of December. So it's really like, what, the eight days of December? Yeah. Like, so yeah, basically yeah. it's all in A. Yeah. Um, I only fuck with winter because my birthday is in December. Yeah. So I like the attention. Yeah. And not just me keeping it real. That's how my mom is. She's like, I get that. It's her favorite month. Cause... Although I hate having a birthday next to Christmas. Yeah. I... Yours is a little, like, yeah, it's not it. early December, but I feel like I would still get, like, there was, like, Christmas parties like, on the weekend of my birthday or, like, bullshit like mm. that. We, you know what we need to do? Um, that we're doing this 1,000%. I'm sorry, Carly. I'm making you go. It doesn't sound like it's your vibe, but, like, you're going to do it. Tell me. We need to order Santa costumes and we're going to fucking SantaCon. I've like, been to SantaCon every fucking year. You like it? Because well, I see I'm you seem like somebody that would like hate it, but like go. Well, I've I've done it every year. Yeah, but it's like. Did I, you go last year? Um, I went with Eli last year. What you know? Yeah, what? yeah, I remember that. I remember yeah. that. You told me. I think I went last year too. No, I went and it was it was so fucking. I've been every fun. year since I moved. I to had the, city. the best. Time. No, actually, you know what? I didn't go last year because I remember being like. Fuck Santa Con. No, we're going. It's Jazz, you'll fucking love it. Did you Jazz, know? you'll no, love it. Go. Okay, if you guys Jazz, don't know. You'll, thr- you'll literally pee. New York City basically has this giant, like, Santa Con, like, whatever. It's just, like, all these bars are it's just, everyone like. Everyone is dressed as Santa. It's a Saturday day, and everyone just, you just dress as Santa, drink. and you get Didn't fucking Didn't everyone plastered. literally get COVID last year after and not be able to get to go home for Christmas? Yes. I think maybe that's why I didn't go, too. That is probably why. I didn't get COVID. Uh, I did get the flu. <laughs> I didn't get COVID. <laughs> yeah. um, but... It was like, it was really fucking fun and we're doing it this year. Like 1000% we're doing it. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, guys, this was a very crucial question that we did not answer in the last podcast. Oh so yeah. We're oh, then we need to talk yeah. about the, the rude thing with restaurants afterwards. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. Well, we, we just have a lot to unpack today. Yeah. We do have a lot to unpack. Um, anyway, basically in the end of the last episode, it got cut off, but I was asking Jazz and Carly if they like guys coming inside of them. And because we did a whole like sex podcast last episode. Yeah, if you haven't listened to, to it, it, go listen go to listen. it. But yeah, what do you think? Yeah, Actually, or- I was in this argument with my guy friend like last week. If I like visiting. a guy coming inside me. Coming inside of you. Because like, well, no I'm not pun, on the pill, like, so yeah, like, no. Okay. I'm also not, so the answer is no for me too. The, it's um, also just, even if you are on the pill, that's still scary. It, only if they were literally my boyfriend for a long time, then uh, on occasion I would let them do it. I like... If I was on the solely pill. let guys come inside of That's me. That's really fucked up. I, but I don't think I'm, I have an IUD, so I feel like I'm basically infertile. I feel like you're giving guys a little bit too much credit. It's, no, it's not even like, it's not like, cause I'm like, oh my God, for their sake, it's literally easier. In my opinion, it is so much easier. But then it's like dripping out. No, it's not. I, maybe I'm, maybe my vagina is just perfect. Like I'm, <laughs> I can't. I'm kidding. But for me, truly, I'm just saying like, like if you come inside me I will go pee and it all comes out and then that's it like it doesn't drip out of me for an hour or something like it literally is just like immediately I'll go pee and it's fine you know how we make lists for like all the examples and all the reasons of why uh, Jazz is a dad Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start doing that for you but like why you're a pick me (laughs) (laughs) that was fucked up I don't think that's pick me no I don't think that was pick me I then just, I said I have a perfect I, I vagina. Just, yeah. That's a joke. No, I, I know it's a joke, but I just um, think you say a lot of things that are pick me. Okay. It, it makes me laugh. Okay. I think that, I'm sorry, the question, but I want to talk about this. I was talking about this with my guy friend about what it means when a guy does come inside of you. You have like an opinion of what that means because we were in a big argument means? about it. Like, I think, what I do you mean? What does it mean? I agree that it means nothing. Yeah, one time, like, I was having sex with this guy, and he came inside me because he thought I was in the pillow, and then I wasn't, and I had to get him Yeah. But he was like, oh, fuck, sorry. I'm like, you don't don't He didn't ask? He just did it? Because there's two separate arguments I want to talk about. So, like, one, his just, he he was arguing that, like, if a guy comes in a girl, that, like, they're, like, he's like, that's, like, my girl. Like, if I do that, like, that's my girl. And I was like, I don't agree with that. I agree, because I would never let a random guy come inside me knowingly, because I didn't know that this if last you were on birth control inside. what is the difference that's my, I, my question it's, it's a, not pick me see, it's just easy no no well i wasn't saying that was pick me but i'm just i'm saying the you like being chill about certain things is like picking. okay I, <laughs> <laughs> like what i need another example when it comes up i'll say it okay. and i'll just make a running list okay um fuck now i lost my train of thought no if if a guy I mean, a guy coming in I without think asking a, is disrespectful. That's yes, weird. I, I do agree with that. And I think that it should be a privilege for a man to be able to come inside me. That's mm-hmm. how I personally feel. Like, I'm like, I'm not going to let just any guy do that. Like, that is an honor and a privilege. 
What? But I. That's easier than me. Like, oh my god, come on my face. Like that's so I'll just be annoying. Like, come on my like, back face and then, girly. No, come, no, I'll be like, come I'm on saying, my stomach or my back and then just clean it up. I after. feel like the face is almost like a more normal thing than like no. coming inside of you. But I'm like, I've never had a man come on I, my I, face. Saying that's like fucked up. I feel like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Holly's like, wait. Like, yeah, no. She's like, wait, every single time they're like busting on no, my face. No, <laughs> she's that's like in her eyes. She's like no. crying semen. <laughs> no, but. She's like, sorry, one second. No, literally. She's like, oh, licking it all. <laughs> Can you guys know, like, okay, you guys know how you're like always finding out things about me that you didn't know? Yeah, I like you know this. But, but maybe you don't. You know, I'm allergic to come. I knew you were going to yeah, say that. You, yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I, I didn't know that. It's so, like, Coming inside me, like, is fine. Like, I have no reaction. But you just can't have it on your skin. But I can't have it on my skin. So where do you let them? Well, that's I'm such a condom girly because, like. Right. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. You, I'm, I mean this in a not rude way at all. But you, because you, you're the biggest Pause. condom person. What? Hold on. I just need a second before, take you seriously this way before you say this because I'm like, kind of scared. Because you mean this not in a bad way at all? Like, what are you going to say? I'm kind of scared. No. <laughs> you're just delaying it more now. No, I'm saying you just give me the energy of somebody that would be allergic to latex. Oh, that's so accurate. Doesn't she? But yeah. she loves condoms. So, like, she's she not. Like, oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Do you actually have a non-latex yeah, condom? Like she gives me like the like the you, well you know, a lot of girls in my high school would just like say they're allergic to latex and I feel like they just like weren't and, like it's like babe just say you don't want to use a condom like it's fine it's not fine but it's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everyone as a kid was allergic to latex. It's like it's like peanuts and peanut it's like peanuts like when you're a kid everyone's allergic to peanuts. Yeah. When you're older peanuts are fucking everywhere. Yeah. Then like, it's like you're allergic to latex. Everyone's allergic when they're fucking little. And I do then, like, agree you that you don't ever hear about it when you're older. Yeah. That's a thousand percent true. Yeah. True. Like, yeah. you always hear about, it'll be, like, latex in the, like, there'll be warnings in, like, schools about, like, yeah. latex being. Yeah. Okay, but, but I just want to provide you a scenario really quickly to okay. win my argument about getting came inside of. That is, imagine that happens. You just, you go, okay, I'm going to pee so I don't get a UTI. You stand up, you go pee, everything's all clean. You just pee, it's all good. Otherwise... They come on where your back, like whatever. You're fucking laying there. They're trying to find something. To I like have literal hives. Wipe Here's it the off. thing to me, though. It's just like uncomfortable. Like a mm-mm. foreign, a foreign dick in me, fine. A foreign semen in me, grossed me out. Do What's you, the difference? Do you, okay, but like when you give head, do you swallow it? No. You where do you spit it out? Um, I'll like. I won't swallow it. What do you do with I it? I don't let them put you it in my mouth. You just let it marinate in your mouth? I don't. <laughs> like, if, if anything, if they did put it in my mouth, I would just, like, run to the bathroom and spit it out in the sink. Okay. I'm sorry. I just, like, think it's so gross. Okay. Okay. I'm just curious. It's not good. Like, I'm just yeah. curious. Yeah. I mean, if it was, again, like, again, if it was a boyfriend, someone I cared about, they're, I'm willing to do more things I'm willing to work with the person and I want them to be happy and I want to do you want yeah, to no, do I nice things that. for them yeah but if it's was. like a person that I like literally don't care about or it's like a someone I'm just like sleeping with then I'm like I'm not gonna like give okay. him such special treatment I'm okay. just gonna well, be that's like fair. we're okay. having sex that's enough for you okay okay yeah um I'm just really offended. Carly you called me a pick me to be honest oh my god like, you're still on that I'm not over you're it you're low-key sensitive like I now I feel bad <laughs> <laughs> I just know that we're like these, I didn't these, these bitches you. are gonna run with it. <laughs> no, like they're not. They are. They already hate me. Um, stop. <gasps> I'm like, oh wait, I'm what really are you gonna talk about? I'm no, really sorry. It's oh, okay. Okay. Hold my hand. So I'm sorry. Please let us know in the comments. We're gonna clip this. I'm so curious about what people's opinions are about this situation. Would you do this? Yes or no? Bring food from one restaurant into another, like bringing Shake Shack into Kava or Kava into Shake Shack. Not a nice sit down restaurant, just like a grab and go restaurant. Yeah. yeah. Um, if your friend, so let's say me and Hallie are getting Kava, but Jazz wants Shake Shack. POV, like we get our Kava and then we bring it to Shake Shack. She gets her Shake Shack and we just sit at Shake Shack to all be able to eat our food together. Yeah. Like I, I do that, that shit all the time. No. It's so normal. It's so normal. It's so normal. So normal. Please, please let let us know whose side you're on, because like I just I refuse to do it. I think I just think that's like great. Like it is that deep to me. It's it's not that deep to me. And to be honest, I don't even think the workers fucking care. I wasn't. I don't think the workers my sister care. Has I, gotten, I just think it's inconsiderate. You can let's say I you were at Burger just, King. Do you? Get, 
who gives a fuck? They're, yeah. It's not like, like this is my establishment. Yeah, it's like a yeah. mom and pop who shop. Who cares if it's... It's, it's fucking it's, Shake Shack. Yeah, literally, it's I a just, giant. I just can't do it. I That's, wouldn't do there it. There's so many... The reason and why... I just want to know I if think, I'm alone. I think you're being irrational because there are so many other things. And don't ask me to think of examples. I'm, I don't know an example. But I just think there are so many other things that you do that are probably more inconsiderate than that. And yet you find this to be the most unco- just, inconsiderate thing you do. I can't do it. I can't do You're it. You're like, oh my God, like this is the most fucked up thing ever. I'm like, Jazz, like, like You would I don't like know. bitch out a hotel employee if they were like not yeah, doing some shit. Like, but like, like, you'll just like be rude to someone if you're just like in a bad mood. Like you'll just be like, that's okay. <laughs> no, that sounds bad. That's, that's not being rude. If it's, it's like you, you learn at a, at a young age, like if you have nothing nice to say, say nothing at all. Right. This and is like, like a mindset. So I will have, I will choose to say nothing versus saying something that is going to be mean. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, I'm like, you can't just fake it. I Apparently can, not. I can, you know I can't. No, no, I know. Like, I'm terrible can't. at faking it. I'm a terrible liar. I lied to this guy on the first date and he brought it up the second date. <laughs> What's your opinion on getting surgery, surgery done at a young age? Not a young age, but S- surgery like plastic or like yeah. I think you should be older than eighteen to get plastic. Have surgery. you guys had surgeries besides nose jobs? Yeah. Seriously, you're but, asking me that? Yeah, I know I never should fuck up about this. Like it's what? my one personality trait. That you, you don't know either. Wait, what? Your nose my job? Su- my surgeries? No, no. I, I'm you know about mine. You know my wait. No, I don't know about any of yours besides the nose jobs. I never talk. I talk about it all the time. What? Wait, what? I've had ten sinus surgeries. Oh, oh for your but migraines. That's a nose. For your migraines. No, it's that's it's it's sinus cavity. But it's, in, but it's it a nose. Still. It was all internal. I know about that. Okay, do okay, you know about yeah, my yeah, surgeries? I didn't know that. Yeah, what are yours? You know, gymnastics. AC, you have my ACL. ACL surgery. Oh. Full ACL reconstruction. Um, tonsillectomy. Got my oh, out. I didn't know that. I still have my tonsils. Just a few years ago, literally, because I got strep like nine times in a okay. year and then became um, resistant to every single medication. And then they couldn't mm. treat me anymore and then they had to get, take my tonsils okay. out. Okay. But as far as like- You didn't ask about my surgeries. You didn't have any. I, I, I do have a surgery. What? Wisdom teeth or something? No. Um, your tonsils when you were like a baby? No. When I, I was like, when I was little, I was one of those kids that had those ear infections that were like insane. And I was one of those bitches that had tubes in her ear. You like, were one of those? I was a tube in her I ear I didn't bitches. know that was like one of you, those. And I had I to, no, my uncle thing. had that. You had to get them in and out. Because like I would get horrid ear infections oh and they God. can cause like really bad shit or whatever. Yeah, and so, yeah, any And infection. I had asthma and stuff too. So all of that combined was you just were like, a fucking loser I'm i know totally i know I, I was i was giving loser and like but i didn't remember the first one but i do remember it's like a core memory the second one when they took it out um because it hurt so fucking bad and one of them the, i will never forget this when you get tubes in ears they're supposed to fall out on their own you're only supposed to get them in but of course shocker mine didn't fall out so my doctor See, was like it's things like that that make me say she's a pick me how is that pick me okay, what i think i'm using the wrong term i think i'm, I'm using no, pick i think me you're wrong. going off on a limb here no, no 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 it's okay I went on a limb there. My, t- my tubes didn't fall out. No, it would be great if my me? tubes no, did fall out. No, like she'll, she'll be like, everyone has this issue, but like I don't. But mine's the opposite. It's, epic. it's a okay. That was opposite. It was the complete but opposite. But that's what I mean when like she says stuff like that, where it's like I'm saying. Get, I know. I know what you're saying of what I'm saying. I get what you're saying. And yes, in, I'm not saying it in like in you're an actual pick me. No, I'm I know. saying it in like it's silly. Like sometimes you say no. I say that all the time. You'll say things that are silly. Like you'll be like. I know. I'll be. I could be the best ice skater that could ever exist. No, I say that all the time. Yeah, You're so right. that I don't know if that's pick me, but, but that's, that's okay. what I was talking Can we about. What I made that, that the pick me is like because people define because I made a TikTok about pick me yeah. that I need to get back to the thing so we can't get super off topic. But I made a TikTok about pick me. Some people were like, pick me is when you put other girls down to get okay, then no. ahead with a guy or whatever, basically. And so then I was like, oh, because I've been using the term pick me like you, like what you just said, basically, where like, it's just, just like, I'm being, perfect. Like, yeah, I'm so awesome. Something yeah. like that. But people are saying pick me is when you like are like, like, oh, yeah, like I would never wear makeup. I just think like girls who wear makeup are disgusting. Like, I just like I'm so naturally perfect. But the reason I related that to that is like, you'll say like, Oh, like while most people have this experience, I have this experience. I just make jokes all the time. I'll look but at something and be like, I can we, ice skate. It doesn't seem that me, fucking hard. Let me make it clear. You're always joking. And yeah. sometimes you're a little bit too serious where I'm like, what the <laughs> well, fuck? Well, sometimes I'm, I'm dead ass. I can be yeah, on you're dead ass. I'm just, dead ass. I can funny. be on like, It's funny. I just think yeah. it's funny. Me and Jazz just laugh. We look yeah. at each other and we're like, ha ha. Very funny. Okay. Anyway, we're getting so off topic. But I so could. the plastic surgery thing, um, I think <laughs> personally. <laughs> you No, I'm not even done with my tonsil story or, oh, my, or my ear story. story. Sorry. That basically that uh, when I was 
like when my tubes didn't fall out of my ear or whatever, one of them, he saw it in my ear and he literally, cause I was like five years old. I'll never forget this. They, they, cause it hurts really fucking bad. He Velcroed me down to a table. Like I was like this on a table Velcroed down so I couldn't move. Mm-hmm. And he dig, dug in my ear and ripped it out of my ear. And I was screaming, crying. And it hurt so fucking bad. I, I cracked my chin open when I was younger. And also I was like really young. I was like five. So they Velcroed me to the yeah. bed. And the, the surgeon was a terrible person. His name was Dr. Cohn. Um, if you still are out there, you Count suck and fuck you. you. He was so, my mom was crying because she was like yeah, freaking out because she had this too. little girl and she was like so scared. My mom had to come. My mom was like holding my hand during it. I like remember because of how traumatic it was. I remember being like my Were head. Were you getting stitches or like what was yeah. happening? Stitches. Oh, okay. You, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. then I also did get another surgery to get whatever. So that was my, uh, I oh, took wow. two surgeries. So Damn, with the sucks. ear things. Okay. But plastic surgery, in my opinion, like if you want to get it, yeah. I think you should wait till like. I mean, if my parents would have offered me a nose job at fifteen, I would have took it. Here's the thing, though: you're st- when my mom got a nose job at sixteen, but the problem is you're still growing, and like your nose is still growing. Yeah. Obviously, your ears and your nose never stop growing, but when you're getting older, your face is still really like maturing and growing. So if you get a nose job prematurely, then your face is gonna already change again. So it's like, I waited until I was in college to like, be like, okay, this is how I feel like this is how I'm going to look. Cause I was like 20. Yeah. And I was like, okay, now if I want to fix something now is the time. Yeah, I got my nose done at 23. What? I I couldn't afford it. Was the, did the nose job hurt? Yeah. It was probably the least painful of all my surgeries. Oh, it was, it didn't hurt at all. Oh, I got got a sinus surgery the same time as my, my nose job. Usually people already up there. Just double down. It's great. Interesting. Yeah. Um, the, like, I feel like you, if you want you something, packing, you should get it. No. I feel like, we, yeah, because that's the worst part, honestly, the packing. It's just, like, basically, like, a tampon, but, like, this size all the way up here. And when they pull what? it out, it's just really uncomfortable. And sleeping with it the first yeah. night is just not. When I had the ear thing, like, my mom and I got surgeries at the same time because my mom had a really bad deviated septum. She didn't get the, like, um what is it, rhinoplasty? She just got the septoplasty. Right, right, yeah. Um, but like, like she had the packing. I remember watching it being pulled out and I was like, oh, it was Septoplasty disgusting. Septoplasty has a different packing and it's not as bad. Oh, it's not, it's it's not as plastic. bad? It's It's like these plastic Hers was a skins. tampon looking thing. It oh. was like, it was cloth coming out. It was disgusting. Oh, then she I've did had have packing like that. Every single one of my sinus surgeries. Plus I had tubes <clears throat> up my nose. That's it was horrible. like the worst pain you ever. Had, did you have this, the plastic things or did you have the I've had I had since I was since I got my first surgery done in 2009 so like I've gone through like the variations of like has it improved stuff so like I had the worst shit the worst shit that like better shit so on and so forth yeah because okay. different it depends what you get like some people get surgeries and they have they they use different things depending on like what they're working on yeah someone asked how to be comfortable casually dating and hooking up when you're a relationship girly I feel like you just shouldn't yeah I totally agree yeah. with that don't don't yeah, force you don't yourself have to, to do something you don't want to do. Yeah. If you're a relationship girly, be a relationship girly. Don't conform. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Period. People get like get in their yeah, head. Yeah, you don't they have to like have a phase or something. And I feel like if it's not for you, it's not for it's you. It's exactly. I know. Period. Stay true to yourself. Yeah. But I also wouldn't be so hell bent on being like, I have to be in a relationship because I feel like that can create like toxic standards as well. So yeah. it's like I feel like maybe let yourself be a little more chill and like date around kind of vibe, but you don't have to be like Fucking all these people and have a slut phase or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Like, you know what There's I'm like saying? Levels to yeah, yeah, yeah. Find you can a find a happy but I wouldn't yeah. like be like, I need a boyfriend right now and just try to find somebody to fit that mold kind of thing. Someone said how to respond to a hookup that moved away but wants nudes. Why would you, if they, what are you getting out of it if they don't live there? Yeah, literally. Do you guys uh, no. What like, are, what are they kidding? Do you guys send nudes? Not I unless have. it's my boyfriend. I, know, yeah. I totally have. I have for like boyfriends and like Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I don't really have anybody to send them to, but I don't think I don't I, have anyone. I don't really to. think I would because I honestly like feel like they would just get leaked. Like again, I don't if know. I had a boyfriend, I would send them. But yeah, maybe. And we were like doing, we were distance, or he but was. See, on I don't use Snapchat vacation. either, so it's like I don't want to just like text in my yeah, messages. It like would, for me, it would be like full on. Yeah. yeah, I've done it. Yeah, so that's no no shame I mean, in the yeah, game. I've absolutely, done, I've done yeah, it. yeah, absolutely. I not. feel like I mean, would I do it again? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> if you looked at my Snapchat, like if you looked at my Snapchat, um, my eyes only or whatever, it's it, 
all naked videos and photos. I've seen TikToks about this, but it's just like body checking shit. Like it's like, oh. it's just like kind of, not really. It's just like it's me body, taking, It's you body checking? Like myself. Yeah. Like it's just like, obviously. Naked? Like, yeah, it's just like me naked, like taking photos of myself to like see what I look like and like That's compare. So it's like, it's concerning. toxic, but yeah. like, it sounds a little, <laughs> it's that sounds toxic. not a little, it sounds a lot I don't toxic. do it anymore. Guys, don't do this at home. No, don't. But I know people relate. I promise you people watching this are like, I yeah, don't I do relate, that. But really? No. I, saw, I saw TikToks that's like so funny. It's like, I don't send nudes. I just body check in my Snapchat, my eyes only. I'm like. Wait, that's, I've never done that. I, I, I haven't done that in a long time, but I used to. Um, someone said, I'm afraid to have sex. Like, I'm terrified. It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I'm scared. I feel like you shouldn't have sex. Well, yeah. Jo- and also when it's with the right person. And if you have, like, don't do it until it's with the right person. And when it is with the right person, have open conversations about your, like, hesitations yeah. behind it. Like, talk about it. I feel like it's not going to be a scary thing if you're ready to have sex. Yeah. It's always a little bit scary. No, I was scared I think, the first time I had sex. I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I just wanted to get it over with. So no, like, so did I, yeah. but I was also scared. It's, yeah. it's just anything that's the I mean, unknown like, is scary. Yeah. yeah. And then once you do it, you know what's on the other side of it. But that first, like. But that's not a reason to do it. But, right. But if you, I would say just wait till it's the right person. Do not lose your virginity on a random, on a random person. I think it's much, it feels much safer oh, I, I and wish better. I would have not done that. What? To a random? Yeah. Like, I, like, liked this guy, but he's a piece of shit. Oh, yeah, like, I don't I'm care. I, that I, I never talked to the guy to I lost my virginity to. I never talked to again the day after Does the day. Does it bother you? No, no, no. I'm just asking. I'm I, I don't, but maybe that's, like, maybe I now have an unhealthy relationship towards sex where I, like, truly don't care at all because, like, I don't, like, care. Like, I don't, like, it's not, like, sex doesn't mean anything to me, like, in my opinion. Like, literally, I wrote them a thing yesterday, and I was, like, First base is kissing, second base is fucking, third base is having a deep conversation, and fourth base, like a home run would be like holding hands. And that's like genuinely how I feel. <laughs> like, really I don't know. They're just like fucked up maybe, but. Yeah, I, don't I should know. probably unpack that. Yeah. There. yeah. No, but yeah, when it's with the right person and then you're able to just like openly communicate like how you feel. Like I think it's so much less scary when you just talk about things and say, I'm afraid of this and like how can we yeah. work through this together? I think it's going to be scary no matter what though. Like yeah. there's no way yeah, it's going to be like, yeah. yeah. Anything unknown is scary. How to stay motivated and consistent with a routine. I feel like we're all getting back into a routine right now. So like what made you want to get into a routine and how have you like decided what the, that routine is? Yeah. Um, for me, getting a puppy has definitely been like whatever because it's like I have I wake up every day at 6.30 a.m. and, like, take her outside, and then I feed her, and then I make my bed, and then I do this and that, blah, 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 and I, like, have a whole, like, routine and day, and I feel, like, really good about it. I've been very productive, and, like, ha- I like I never really slept in anyway, but, like, regardless, like, I especially now, I'm, like, on, a, on the dot waking up at the same time, so. I think that's a good point. Like, for me, my routine is all about how I start my day mm-hmm. and how I start my morning. So it's like, I always try to do things. I always try to challenge myself in the beginning of the day with things I don't want to do. Yeah. Because then it motivates me for the rest of the day. So I wake up at 830. Like, I'll make my bed. That's the very first thing I do. I'm going to, like, clean up. I'm going to do, like, all the things that I'm dreading, I'm going to do first. Mm -hmm. And then, like, as your day, it just makes everything else in your day seem easier. I'll get my workout in in the morning. I'll never do it later in the day. Um Especially, honestly, my workout especially helps me stay on track because it like just mo- it gives you that yeah. extra motivation. Now that we're back into that too, I'm like I completely agree. But I also think having sorry, then I'll like I just have one more point to make. That I think you need a clean space to like be mm. like I. That's so important to me. If I cannot get shit done, if my apartment's like a mess and everything's disgusting, like I don't feel motivated to do anything else, and then I will just sit in like my like disgusting like Ooh. depression agree. like kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? And just like I yeah. will say though, one one tip that you can take away with you today is literally wake up the next morning that you want a routine and just do something you don't want to do the first thing that you do. Yeah. Like if you don't like making your bed, make your bed. If you don't like cleaning, clean. Um. Do, if you don't like doing laundry, do laundry. For me, it's all about um having accountability mm-hmm. because I will not hold myself accountable. So it's like when I have people around me, like that's like why I joined Econox yesterday. So I'm like, if you motherfuckers are going, I'm going to go. Yeah. Will I go without you? Like if like I like probably at some point, but like will I go that often? Probably not. Yeah. Um, so that's like important to me. Also like having like people to like do things with. Like I my routine I is waking up and texting you guys. I'm like, hey. No, literally, hey, what's literally. up? Literally. Like, no, I get that. And I'm, you know, I think I, on the other hand, I tend to be, I need my balance where it's like, I'm the most productive when I find a happy medium between work and social and Mm -hmm. being alone and being with friends um, and seeing family, like making sure I have enough breaks and my little nap time I cherish and love. Probably Um, naps 
every fucking day. Yes, yeah, Slayer and I napping. Not every day, no, but no, I nap actually, most, most. Slayer and I napping. I'm, I nap a lot of days. Carly, Carly's a big napper. Like when we were like in Europe, like every day, she's like, okay, like at three o'clock for my nap. Like, it's yeah. her nap time. Especially when I'm traveling, it's napping is huge because Carly, I do get so exhausted when traveling. Carly was napping and I'd be like, I'm going to the casino. No, and literally. Be, I need my, I need my app. But you know, when I'm here, like when we're not like, when I'm not really doing much during the day, I'm not going to nap. Yeah. Like I haven't napped all week. You know, when you were napping, I walked to the Arc de Triomphe in um, Paris. Like you were, what? I'm just thinking about this. Like I, I like don't even know if I ever told you. That. Like I, I walked like because you were like dead asleep, and I was just like, yeah, I, I thought you were just like, oh, I just like went for a walk. I thought you were just like went for. A walk I didn't walk like all the way to it, but I saw it with my eyes. Like, but it oh. was like it was far away. Yeah, because like, you were like, I was like, where the fuck did you go? And no, you, yeah, because I was like, she's not on the. Outside. No, yeah, I was like fully on like a super long walk. I um, loved that hotel, but like that was, oh, that was such a good um, hotel. Sorry, no, yeah, I huge nap, huge sleigh. I used to be like ashamed of the fact that I napped. But I'm like, it actually helps me be more productive yeah. and happier and in a better mood. Yeah. Like, I need that. No, pop so, off. And sometimes, not always, but. I just, no, napping makes me nauseous. It makes me sick. I hate, I cannot nap. Like, I, my body cannot do it if I, if I nap. And I, I napped this week and I was like so not productive. And I felt like, not because I napped. It's just my body after, I can't, I can't. Like, you, yeah. you pick right back up and you're I, like, let's go. It's a siesta for me. Like, you know how yeah. in Europe, like, they kind of especially like in Spain, like they'll have a siesta and then yeah. they'll have the rest of their day. Yeah. That's literally how I treat it's it. And I, I live by it. No, like I think you, it's but that's so- what I'm saying. If I do that, if I take a nap, it'll be a three hour nap. And I'm not like after, and then I'm like groggy and I feel like shit and my head hurts and like whatever, like that. Ugh, it's almost I feel, like, like I get like a second wind after all. Like, oh, yeah. let me have like a, a matcha or something. Like, let me like feel like I'm getting started again. Yeah. Feeling gotcha. like a second kind of like a second- Half of my day. Yeah. If you guys haven't given us a rating and review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, please. What are you do. doing? Um, subscribe to our YouTube at Hawker Talks Podcast and our Instagram at Hawker Talks Podcast. Follow us all on Instagram individually. Please. You know the rules. For the love of um, God. Follow our TikTok at Hawker Talks Podcast. I can't talk today. Well, what else You're doing is good. new? You're doing good. It's cr- uh, real quick. These bitches give me so much shit for mumbling. All the time. You are a big You give mumbler. more shit to her than I. I do because I have a really difficult time hearing. I I, I, I have a difficult time hearing. I have a very hard time hearing. And Jazz like, will like, be like. I get through this whole podcast over, for an over, hour. Over, but over. You, it's because you make an effort on here yeah, to talk better. Yeah, you do. Jazz, when you talk <laughs> to me. She just doesn't feel like making an effort. Like, She'll be like. Uh, 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 I'll Jazz, that wasn't English. <laughs> no, she does it all the time because you don't give an effort to talk to yeah. us. On here, you make an effort. and I I'm think, just so comfortable with you guys. I know. That's what I'm saying. The more comfortable you get, the more you mumble. she just doesn't speak. You don't enunciate your words at all when you're comfortable like I think like I'm, I'm assuming when you're on a date or something like that you're, you're very like pronouncing your words because you're actually giving an effort the more comfortable like yesterday was so much worse than Tuesday he was like what what and oh like, god is he saying what <laughs> do you not get like I see that's like for me I think why I talk so loud and I enunciate it is my biggest insecurity when people are like what what are you saying I don't like doing that like well I do that to everyone because I literally I also feel hear. bad when I do that to I'm people. so loud because I just simply can't hear that's why I don't like a club either sorry we're getting really off topic yeah. but like anyways that was an episode bye I love you love you Thank you.